da 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 She's got an idea for a new like Hulu surfing thing for the show, which I think would be great because you know this this spooky song we have at the beginning is is not suitable for all the films we show, including tonight's. Welcome to Creature Feature Friday. I of course am Vincent. And the adorable little hula hoopa in the background would be the wonderful Miss Tangella. And we are going to bring you an absolutely wonderful film tonight. Livingston, what happened to the pub? I'm going to prepare dinner in today. Oh, nice. That's Livingston. He doesn't like watching movies on Fridays because we show scary movies. And tonight is a somewhat scary movie. House 2. If you recall, uh, I think last year, we showed House 1, but they did not call it House 1. It was just called House, and we showed it in our house here. And uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful film, and this one is a bit different. It stars uh, Ayer Gross, Jonathan Stark, Royal Dano, which are all odd names to me, but most unusual, it also has Bill Maher, which if you watch late-night television-type shows or HBO type shows. He's the host of uh, Politically Incorrect and things like that. Anyways, he's an actor in this movie, which is most peculiar because he's actually rather humorous in this movie, whereas on his show, not so much. But uh, that's, uh, that's uh, all in this one film. And uh, let's go ahead and get that started, right, Tangela? Because if we don't start the film, people are gonna go away because they're bored with us. So we will see you halfway through the film and enjoy House Two. Could it be him? No. No, it's probably just those punks that broke into Tibbet's house last Halloween. Thank you. 
What do you want? I want the skull. I don't know where it is. It's not here. It's definitely not built to code. How many generations of your family lived here? I don't know. decorated this place. Wow. Looks like something's missing. the electricity was supposed to be on, Jesse. Yeah, it is. Uh, the switch must be out. Is there a phone in here? Great. John Statman, please. Hello? John, hi, it's Kate. Hey! Sorry I couldn't call you earlier. The car phone doesn't work out here. What's the house like? Well, it's a pit. Jesse's completely in love with it, of course. <laughs> How'd the meeting go? Is he interested? No. Great. You know, we could have had him recording in the studio by early next month. Well, I don't know. We've got to find somebody fast. Did you go see that new band down from Iris Club? Yeah, they've kind of got a raw energy, don't you think? But you're absolutely right. Hey, did you get that letter from I don't Jeff? believe it. Well, they really need someone. That's my mom and dad. That was pretty cute. That was my grandfather. So he must have been my great, great grandfather. Jesse McLaughlin, they named me after him.
earth were you doing? Uh, I couldn't sleep, so I went downstairs to just look around. <laughs> what is that? Yo! <laughs> Yo, daddy! But I don't do it. <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Da, 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 Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, hey, you didn't have to do this. Sure I did. You're the only person I know who's ever been famous, huh? Hardly famous, Charlie. Nobody reads this magazine. Oh, well, you know, I, I mean, I have to admit, I don't look at the pictures. I only read it for the interviews. What? No, no, I... you don't. <laughs> hey, look at this couch. Nice and comfortable. I'm better. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Here. Yeah, yeah. for just a second. That I'd be taken up to hyperspace. It seems so strange. Seems so strange. I only touch you. And then you move right Excuse me. Oh, hi, Kate. Hey, music too loud. Body, really. This your plane. That's Puce Glitz and the Avoiders. Puce Glitz? Yeah, that's my stage name. This is you? Uh, yeah, and uh, I'm her manager. <laughs> uh, Kate, I don't feel compelled to tell you. We are weighing several offers from some big producers, but to drop names would be tacky. <laughs> but you don't have a contract yet. I mean, you haven't signed anything yet, have you? Oh, no! no. We don't believe in success. Yeah, we, we want to make a lot of money and be real famous, but, but no success. No, there's a very subtle difference, you know. John, okay, I've got to get back to you. I think I may have found what we're looking for. Sweet sensation. Ow! Sweet vibration. They're different. This one's got jewels in its eyes. They're not the same skull. Hey, Jess, what you doing there, huh? <laughs> Come on, Charlie, give it. It's uh, private. Hey, this is cool. Looks like it's old. What is it? Come on, Charlie, give it. No, 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 no nothing. Tell you, tell me what it is. It's nothing. I promise you won't laugh. Yeah? You'll never believe me. Anyway. Sure, I will. Here, okay, here, take it. All right. See this guy? It's my great great grandfather. He has the same name as me. He was an outlaw in the Old West. I know. Okay. I buy that? Yeah, look at this skull he's holding. It's made completely out of rock crystal. And this guy in the background, this is Jesse's partner, Slim Reaser. Uh uh. Now, he and Jesse had a falling out over the skull and became bitter enemies. Swim died without ever getting the skull from Jesse. All right, now, look at this. You see this skull? Right now, it's different from the one here in the book, right? I mean, this wait. one has got jewels in the eyes. Wait, wait a minute. But, listen to this. Okay, um, all right. Legend has it that there was a second skull that had untold powers that could unlock the mysteries of the universe and bring eternal life to those who possessed it. So, question is, if this is the legendary second skull, 
Where is it? Uh, why are you asking me? I mean, how am I supposed to know? Charlie, Charlie, um, there's an old cemetery up on the hill. Jesse was buried there in 1916. Now look here, it says that when the Aztecs buried their dead, they wrapped the bodies in several layers of cloth and they surrounded them with their weapons and jewels. It was worth millions, was it? A, a lot. I say, let's go for it. There's nothing down here. Let's quit. I don't care. If all the money in the world is down here, I just want some sleep. I'm really tired. Yes, it's in there. Mess with me, boy. Uh, 1986. October 30th. October 30th, 1986. 1986. Well. <laughs> God damn. You know, I've been waiting over 70 years for some jackass to get the sense to come dig me up. <laughs> Thank you, boy. Well, there she is. <laughs> There's something special about this old house. Can't you feel it? I can. Let's go this way.
Remember, boys, this house is a temple. As fantastic as any pyramid or castle you'll ever see. It don't know time or space or any of that hogwash. But the forces of evil are always after this skull, and you've got to help me to protect it. So don't let no one touch the dang thing, you hear? You can sleep on this. Is this the way you treat family? Uh, uh, making them hide down in the basement like some slimy old lizard? Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I must be out of practice. I don't have any family, sir. Don't call me, sir. I ain't no politician. Heck, I'm your great-great-grandfather. You can call me Gramps. That's what your granddaddy used to call me. All right. Gramps. Well, uh, we better hit the hay. But I'm not tired. I don't need no sleep. Well, let's get me cleaned up, and then we can go out on the town and do a little high-stepping. Uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea. Why not? There's nothing wrong with me. Uh, no, there's nothing wrong with you. Yeah, well, something's bothering you. I can see it in your eyes. Look, I, I'm just as fit as a fiddle. I'm... Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I'm supposed to be young again. Uh, Gramps, uh, maybe you should... Look at me. <laughs> I'm a hundred and seventy year old fart. A goddamn zombie. Uh, well, um, you look really good for a hundred and seventy year old zombie, Gramps. Really great. Well, I ain't gonna die if it's the last thing I do. What in tar nation is it? Gramps, this is a 1986 Alfa Romeo Spider. Zero to 60, 7.3 seconds. Zone. I mean, 
I mean, you know, insect repellents, you know, underarm deodorants, maybe just a pinch of communism. <laughs> it's making you're, the stars fade you're, away. You're, you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> I better drive. <laughs> Oh, golf bag. How are you? Uh, John, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, well, your beautiful lady informed me that she's found the Madonna of the 80s. I thought I'd better come by and check it out. Hey, I thought Madonna was the Madonna of the 80s, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Who's your friend, Bozo the Clown? No, Bozo the Death Machine. Uh, Charlie, Charlie, this is John Staten, Kate's boss. He's the president of Heretic Records. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, John Statman. Of course. I, this is really a pleasure. I'm really happy to meet you. Charlie Coriel, manager of Puce Glitz and the Avoid. Kate! Ta-da! Here she is. Great. You have the tape? Where are you going? We're doing lunch. John made a special trip out here to meet Lana and listen to her demo tape. <laughs> See you later, Jesse. <laughs> Great! They just keep coming and coming and coming. <laughs> Where the hell are they all coming from, anyhow? <laughs> Man, I broke it. Oh, risky gramps. Thanks. I hate this doggone box. Hello. I like this restaurant. Got all them channels and stuff. Got nothing interesting to watch. Well, there I was, right out in the middle of Kansas, facing 500 crazy fanatics, heavily armed, and me with only 15 soldiers. Now, now you take this Ronald Reagan fellow. What did you do? He sure is a pansy. He wouldn't have lasted 10 minutes back in the old days. My dear young lady, there comes a time in every soldier's life when he must stand or fall alone. And if you knew the army, you'd understand that he... It wouldn't do no good to tell you how it was. You had to be there. In all them movies and books and crap, they don't tell you how it really was. It was rough. Well, I got a question for you. Whatever happened to Slim Reezer? Slim Reezer ain't part of my vocabulary no more, son. Uh, we, we had a disagreement about who the skull belonged to. What did you do? I shot the scallywag, is what I did. Well, he took a shot at me first, so I had to teach him a lesson. And I left him to die in the Mojave Desert. And that was that? Yeah, well, that was that. Uh, uh, Gramps, did you ever rob a stagecoach? <laughs> sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> I robbed a stagecoach once uh, just outside of Dodge City. Now, every day at about 5.30, it used to come into the bank with a bag of money that would give an elephant a hernia. We set up on both sides of a little gorge just outside of town. And when the stagecoach come on through, 50 we had over. And they chased me around them hills and clean across the border into Arizona territory. Well, I was a-riding for about two weeks without ever getting out of the saddle trying to lose them fellers. <laughs> I was holding them off with just two points and a Winchester. Then all of a sudden, I take an arrow right through the leg, right there. Right. And another one just under the shoulder. Oh, right 
there. The caves were never uncovered again. And there must have been a billion dollars in diamonds and jewels down there. <laughs> now, that's something I intend to search for just as soon as I get rejuvenated. Shh. What? I hear something. Yeah, it sounds like music. What time is it? Uh, bring back some more beer. down in Hollywood. Charlie! Charlie! Charlie. What? Look, Gramps, what is he doing? <laughs> it looks like he's about to score. Yeah, but how did he get up here? We can relax. It's Halloween. He blends right in. All right, Gramps, go for it, pal! <laughs> hey, excuse me, will you? Hey, uh, Susan! Isn't he great? Yeah, he's an old friend. From way back. Pack your ass in a suitcase and head for Panama.
Please, let the lawyers go. Are you okay? Charlie, there's a jungle in there. Hey, get you something, dear water. Valium. Get me Valium. Yeah. Whiskey. Get me whiskey. I need the skull. Without it, I'm a goner for sure. Don't let him get away. Cramps. There's a jungle upstairs. He took it in there. He's from the Stone Age, kid. You gotta stop him. Don't worry, he's a pushover. Cramps, I don't think you understand. There is a jungle. Jesse, in the wrong hands, that skull could cause trouble. Now go. Charlie, don't sneak up behind me like that. Well, just happen to have this in the trunk of the car. Uh, you never know when you're gonna need one in a pinch, huh? <laughs> what is it? This is an Uzi semi-automatic firing weapon. Charlie, this is a machine gun. So? So? So, what about me? What do I get? I only had the one Uzi, you know. But, uh, I got one of these. What do I do with this? Light cigars? No, you shoot people with it. Duh. Okay. <clears throat> On the count of three, you're gonna kick the door open, run in there blindly, and I'll cover you, okay? <clears throat> Guy with the big gun goes first. Okay. <sighs> Ready? One. One. Two. Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> One, two, three. Doing? Making sure you're not dreaming. Do we need a plan? 
Yeah, let's get the skull and get the hell out of here. Good plan. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. <laughs> Shit, please. Take your best shot. Go. He ran away with his tail between his legs, chicken shit barbarian! Charlie, we got it. All right! Charlie. The skull is out! Oh, no. Oh, no. Come back! Hey! Hey, Jess! Don't lose it! Fall, you'll die real fast. Thanks, Charlie. Great, Jess! Keep going! Ow! <laughs> what an idiot. Okay. No. 
Nice. Bird. Ah! Nice birdie. Ah, jeez! <laughs> All right. Can, can we keep him? Well, who's going to take care of him, Charlie? I'll feed him, wow. change his water and stuff. Charlie, help me. Charlie, help me. <laughs> Don't forget the beer. commodity to find in our business, really. Look at this shirt. Is this great? Is yeah. this him? Well, you know, the bananas. Oh, bananas. Yeah, yeah. Stay! Where's the beer? What are you doing out here? Quick! Somebody's coming. Got they go all it was, the way um, around well, the back. Yeah, I got, you know what? Uh, 
Hi, John. Hey, buddy. What's cooking in the kitchen? Nothing. No? And what might be in that closet there? Nothing. Nothing. Well, can I see? John, I just told you there's nothing in the closet. Well, let me see nothing in the closet. It uh, wouldn't happen to be your old friend Rochelle in there, would it? John, what is it you are accusing me of in my own house? I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm just asking a question. But I do think Kate would like an explanation. You want an explanation? All right. All right, I'll give you an explanation. Kate, What's Kate, get in here. here. Kate, I need to talk Why to you. Why are you yelling? I'm not yelling. Now, Kate, you know that since we got here, there's been some strange things going on in this house. Charlie! Char they want an explanation, I'm going to give them one. All right, now listen. All right, now, Charlie and I, last night, went to the cemetery and we dug up my great-great-grandfather's grave. Because we were looking for a, a crystal skull. It's supposed to be magic. Anyway, we dug it up and we got the skull, but we also found my great-great-grandfather. He's dead, but, but he's alive. I mean, he's a mummy, and, and we brought him back and he's been staying in the basement. And, and Charlie and I have just been running through this jungle trying to get the skull back. And that's who's in there for your information, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Hi, Rochelle. What are you doing in here? There's been a mistake. Apparently. Uh, you don't understand. I understand perfectly. No, Kate, listen to me. I, I have no idea what she was doing in there. Well, who did you think was in there? A mummy. Or maybe even a baby pterodactyl. Shame on you, Jesse. Look, it's a prehistoric bird. Kate! Welcome back to me. She's, she's, you know, you should join me, Tangelo, because these people, they, they tune in to watch you, not me. And if you're in the background doing your, your hula hooping, they don't get to see you. Come sit, join us. Anyways, uh, this film, interesting thing about this film, the, the, the glass skull that they're all mad about. Uh, at the end of this film, the director took that glass skull and made it into a doorknob. Uh, you know, I don't have in this entire household. I do not have one doorknob. That's a skull. We should make one. But don't you make one out of a real skull? It needs to be a glass skull of similar size. Anyways, we'll get back to the movie in a moment. Just a little bit of business. If you're watching us on YouTube, please push that subscribe button. It uh, does absolutely wonderful things for us because if we don't have subscribers, there's no point in doing the show anymore, right? And you know that only. 5% of the people who view our show have subscribed. So it's, it's, it's quite sad that we've only got so few subscribers and so many viewers. So if you could do that, that'd be wonderful. And also, if you don't want to watch us on YouTube, you can watch us on Feature Features TV. Wonderful thing. You can watch on your Roku, on your Apple TV, and all kinds of fun stuff. And uh, there's a small monthly fee, but it's reasonable, right? No, it's tiny. It's, it's tinier than her little fingers. And uh, you'll get all the Creature Features you can eat all month long, all year long, forever. So uh, join us on Creature Features TV. But right now, let's get back to the film. Don't go away after the credits. We'll be here. See you soon. riddance. She's out of here. Now we can do whatever we want. We'll run around our underwear. Phony phone calls. All kinds of creep. Shut up, Charlie. Can't you shut your mouth just once? Surprise! Gramps, where's Rochelle? Watch this. Jesse. Oh. Wait, it's so long for you. Uh, Rochelle, it's 
It's great to see you, but I'm, I'm having some family problems right now. Understand? Hey, Charlie, can you call Rochelle a cab? Hey, Chucky. Hey, don't call me Chucky, okay? <clears throat> it's very sweet of you to come. Hey there, Bertie. How about a little trade, huh? Okay. Come on. Come on. Hey, I think he wants some more. I don't have any more steak. <laughs> Now, now, I know that smells good. I know it smells good. Then he's going to have it ready right away. Right away. That's a fact. Yep, yep, yep. I know. I know. Daddy knows. Daddy, now, now, open your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gramps, I'm sorry I yelled at you. You got me a little upset. Well, I, I was just hankering to play a joke on somebody, and I'm sorry that it turned out to be you. That's enough, Bippy. Bippy. Bippy, that's enough. No, don't you? Bippy. Oh, now look. Just go on out and play. That's it. There you go. Um, Gramps, look, I gotta get to bed. Do you want me to put the skull back in the fireplace? You know, I'll, t I'll take care of that. You little rascal. <laughs> you scared the bejesus out of me. Jesse boy. Are you all right? They bushwhacked me. It must have been 30, 40 of them. They come at me from all directions. Charlie, get up. Charlie, come on. Charlie. Charlie, wake up. Get up. Charlie, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Charlie. 
Charlie, come on. Charlie, Charlie, get up. Just this better be real important. Ramps lost the skull. What? Somebody, I don't know who stole it. He's dying, Charlie. We gotta get it back. After all we did for him, he loses it? I can't believe he did that, Jess. I mean, I, I've never met anyone so irresponsible. You know, I risked my Charlie! life. Charlie! Yeah. Uh, uh, Bill. Bill Towner, electrician. Uh, Jesse McLaughlin. Nice to meet you, Jesse. A young lady called, said you needed some work done. She did, huh? Oh, uh, right. What is uh, the fuse box down there in the basement? Uh, listen, Bill, um, I I'm sorry to trouble you, but this really isn't the right time. Hey, uh, it's all right, Jess. I'm not going to get in your way. You just uh, show me what needs fixing. <sighs> this is quite a room you got here. Yeah, very, very nice. <laughs> it's a weird fireplace, though. Yeah, uh, Bill? Uh, uh, so uh Bill. What do we got in here? Ah, there it is. Fremont 240. These old houses are loaded with them. So, uh, is this the room you're having problems here with, Jess? Uh, yeah, all along this wall, uh, but the rest of the house is fine. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that, Jess. Didn't look too valuable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just as I had expected. Jess, you got a problem here. But, uh, hey, like with any problem, you know, you don't want to let it get the best of you. Now, I've been working on these houses for about 20 years now, and I've seen enough tragedy and disaster to make you want to upchuck in your shorts. You see, these old houses, they, uh, they just got minds of their own, you know, and you, you just got to teach them who's boss. You know, sort of give them a spanking. Huh? Must be foreign made. Well, I'm going to fix this old house up for you, Jess, just like it's brand spanking new. What is that? Uh-huh. Oh. Ooh. Uh. What, 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 what do you hear? Ah, Jess. Jess, Jess, Jess. It's not good. I, I've seen this before, and... It's always made my adenoids curdle. Oh, hey, don't monkey with those switches, Jess. It'll blow us both to Milwaukee. Uh, it's touch and go from here, pal. Could go either way, Jess. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Jess. Why don't we step into my office here for a second? Listen, buddy, uh, I like to be alone with my work, so if you don't mind... Yeah. You got something to do? Yeah, sure. Go do it, buddy. Go do it. Go do it. <laughs> nice kid. I'm not going up there. Gramps can get his own damn skull. Come on, Charlie. Gramps said they went in here, so don't wimp out on Hey, buddy. Oh. oh, scared you, huh? Relax. Oh, God, Bill, are, are you all right? Yeah, fine, fine, fine. Who is this? Uh, Bill. Bill Towner, electrician. Charlie Coriel, entrepreneur. Yeah, uh... Uh, listen, fellas, we got a little problem in the other room. I think you better come have a look. Uh, look, Bill, I I'm sorry, but this really isn't a good time. Why don't you pack it up and come back tomorrow? I and... think we better go in the other room and have a look.
Yep. There it is. Looks like you got some kind of alternate universe in there or something. Thanks. Come on, Charlie. Guess I'm next. You just put any spiders in there, because you know I really... You coming, don't... Charlie? Yeah, I don't know you guys. Look, that's an alternate dimension in there or something, and, uh... Incredible. Well, hold on a second, will you? Yeah. Uh, I've been through this kind of thing before. Just don't touch anything till I get there. Looks like you're gonna need the help of a professional. You got a flashlight? Yeah. You know something? I'm incredibly scared right now. Don't be a fag, okay? Shh. Listen. I think it's coming from over there. That's there it is. Yep. Mushi, 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 Well, it's not going to be easy. They're not going to sacrifice you, are they? Hey, just no, no. Is she a virgin? Because I've never seen one before. She was really nice, my man. <laughs> I'm a lie. I'm a lie. I'm a lie. No, no. Oh boy. Hi. Well, hey, hey, come on, <laughs> come on. Uh, well, I'm sorry. We we thought that she was somebody that we knew. Go ahead, enjoy. It's 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 okay. <laughs> Watch this. Get her out of here. Follow the street. Don't worry about me. I gotta get home. My kid's a little late night. Oh, Charlie, good to see you back. I started to get a little concerned here. <laughs> hey, hey, Bill, what are you doing you here? You know, you guys throw one heck of a party, and uh, I'd really like to thank you for inviting me along. Uh, uh, Jess, it's been a pleasure. Uh, and, Miss, uh, it was a pleasure to meet you. Oh, and, uh, Jess, listen, if you need any more work done, just give me a call there, huh? Take care, Charlie. See ya.
Who was that man? Where the hell's the food? I'll go check. And tell them we're starving. Yo, I've been watching her. And she really likes you. Seriously, she likes you. Come on, Charlie. Oh, I'm serious. Watch. Who do you like better? Me or him? Me? Charlie, fun. You know, crazy guy. Nut. <laughs> or him? Everybody's hungry. Uh, dig him while it's hot. Uh, Jess, uh, shouldn't we say grace? You know, say a few nice words about God or whoever. Um. Oh, all right. Uh, I guess I'd just like to thank everyone for their special contribution to the meal. And to say that I guess I, I think of all of you as. It's all my my family now. That was well put, son. Now let's eat. Catch up with me sooner or later.
my God. Charlie! Get out Get out Get out What's up, Eddie? Sheriff, we got a crazy in there, shooting up the whole neighborhood. The old McLaughlin place. That's right. We just found out who owns the place. Jesse McLaughlin. It's old Clarence's son. Just moved in a couple of days ago. Clarence's son? Yeah. He's yeah, moving out tonight. Let me talk to that sucker. What's his name was? Jesse. Seven seven. Go ahead. Jesse? You got the place surrounded. Why don't you come out peacefully and give yourself up? We don't want anybody to get hurt.
Did you blow his head off? <laughs> That's a good boy. <laughs> I thought for sure he'd he'd kick your ass. <laughs> but I didn't let on, though, did I, son? <laughs> no. No, you didn't, Grants. <laughs> This is it, kid. But you're not gonna die. The skull's right here. Oh, it don't make no difference no more, son. I've done all I can do in this world. And it's time to move on. No, no, don't. You get what you want from this old skull. I got something real special. I got to meet my great, great grandson and had a hell of a time. You figure what you want. You did get rid of the goddamn thing. Come on. Come on, Cramps. Hold on. Hold on, Cramps. I love you, Cramps. I love you too, Jesse. Jesse, this is your last chance. Five, Come out with your hands up. I'm going to count to ten, and then we're coming in firing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine.
happen to be Andrew's toothbrush. Gross. Anyways, uh, that's the end of House 2. And, you know, that became like a Back to the Future 2 moment, right? Where he goes back to the Old West and does his thing. Now, I think, I think more movies should end that way, where you go back to the Old West and now it's, you could also make like one of those loop movies where they go back in time and then they go back and then back and forth and I don't know. You know, this is why I watch movies and I don't make them because I get confused on these things. Anyways, uh, that's it for us tonight. A couple of things. Uh, don't forget we've got a Patreon. Just go visit the thing down there. And if you'd like to support our show, we would greatly appreciate it. And if not, we understand as well. And don't forget, tomorrow night, we've got a Saturday show. And on that program, we typically have a, a guest. Tangela seems to be a bit more behaved on those evenings. Uh, Livingston will be here. Perhaps uh, Andrew and Mrs. O'Connor or Tracy the Plumber and all the wonderful people who hang out here on Saturday nights but leave us here alone on Fridays. So uh, join us then. But uh, until then, thank you again for joining us. And don't forget, we love you. Have a wonderful weekend.